Hey everybody, Joseph Rothschild here, aka MBT, and we are live with the first episode of the Mokuba League Championship series. I haven't, I haven't finalized the name. Been working on this for four months and I haven't figured that out yet. What I have figured out is my co-host. I am joined by Golden Nova Yu-Gi-Oh! Would you like to introduce yourself? Hey everyone, uh, Golden Nova here. Um... I primarily make a bunch of videos uh, explaining archetypes. Uh, I've basically found a way to mansplain my way into the Yugi sphere. Um, and sometimes I talk about lore things whenever I uh, have more than one brain cell to put together for it. Mansplaining your way into the Yugi sphere is, it's a time-honored tradition. I mean, it's the only way to get famous these days. Yeah, you, you just can't do it otherwise. Uh, what's, the, what's the alternative nowadays? Be a respectful person? That's, Impossible. That's so strange. Imagine. There's three ways to get into the top echelon of Yu-Gi-Oh! content. Gatekeeping, girl bossing, and gaslighting, baby. And uh, I've already got all three of those on lock. We are watching Bean Soldier TV play against Tatsim. Uh, Tatsim is playing, what, Ad Emancipator? That's, a, that's, that's actually a good deck. And Bean Soldier Fairly TV strong. is on War Rock. Okay, that can't be right. <laughs> no, it's... No, They've that's... Got, they Jerry Beans is in the image, though. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> it seems like... Very not on brand. Yeah, it seems like uh, if you were going to just lose round one, you could at least play the deck you're named for. Wait, and, and did the War Rock player not throw rock? What a, what a betrayal. I mean, no commitment to the bit whatsoever. Bean Soldier TV, come on. You, you gotta be min-maxing your abilities here. All right, we're going to begin with Dynatherium. Big surprise. Uh, one of the free special summons and uh, follow it up with an Ad Emancipator Analyzer, which will allow them to look at the top five cards of the deck, pick a rock, and give us a couple of seconds to catch our breath. All right, what's the... um? <laughs> they whiffed. <laughs> wow. Outstanding. <laughs> oh, well, now they're just dead. There's no way they can come back from this. No, there's no way. What could they go into against the War Rock player? Oh, wait, Halk Fibrox. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, that's going to also trigger the Supplier from Hand. Uh, this card has just been such a huge boon for this deck. If a rock monster is sent to the graveyard, you get to special summon this card from your hand. And then at resolution of that effect, you can add a Koakai Mairu to hand, getting a Guardian, insulating against hand traps. I just hate that this deck is allowed to do everything. It's it's another crime in uh, card design. Like, they printed something that was clearly for one archetype, and then another one swings in and take it. It's uh, What are they doing over there? Oh, Tatsum, you're not going to get me to click this. You're not going to get me to click this. I'm not going to click this. But. <laughs> <laughs> well, enjoy your first turn, buddy. Uh, actually, War Rock could take this. This is about the only scenario. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, the classic reveal to my opponent how little of a threat I am. The, what is it? The rattlesnake maneuver? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and with the Seeker as well. This is hilarious. Uh, Ad Emancipator back in the past got away with playing a bunch of really awful rock monsters because of uh, Block Dragon, of course. And now mm. that it actually has to play good cards, you can accidentally reveal those good cards off your cards that are supposed to reveal the terrible rock monsters. And then you can end on a board of Borlode Pass. Truly, it is the uncanny valley of playables. <laughs> we don't. We don't even have a. <laughs> we don't even have a Lincoln Grave. We have to go for fucking Crystal Wing. <laughs> All right. I mean, that's still probably enough. It's War Rock. All right. Wow us. Wow us, Soldier of Beans. Yeah. Show us what War Rock is capable of. Okay. Hey, that's a pretty good start. Hey. Uh, now, unfortunately, Tatsum did showcase the Ash Blossom. Uh, they are gonna let it go. Hmm. Are, they're waiting for the War Rock Mountain. Pivotal. Pivotal yeah, yeah. negate. Clear clear matchup knowledge here. Oh, shit. You actually do have to negate oh, this. Oh, wow. No, please. <laughs> I mean, you let this go, but you, you have to stop the Dragoon. Oh, God. No. Oh, no. That's Is that cost? Uh, I believe it is cost. But I, okay. I, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if we just waited for the fusion. Uh, you don't want to get caught with a fusion in hand if you negate the insight. Uh, okay, that makes sense. Did you ever play? Uh, did you ever play Dual Links? I've I've dabbled. Oh yeah, sp especially when Blade or Slash Dragon was the thing. Oh god, it it's just a no thinking deck whatsoever. Mm mm. You 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 have this perfect six samurai hand, and someone drops the fusion, and you haven't Shien. It's like okay, well, that's fine. 
Wait, I was ready to feel sympathy for you. You were playing six, Sam? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, well. All right, so we're going to formula here. We'll draw a card. Dragoon did make it onto the field. Weird. They didn't activate the ash there. Uh, I guess we'll see what the game plan is. Uh, Dragoon doesn't match mm. up super well against uh, Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. You can negate the effect, but Crystal Wing won't destroy it. Yeah. Yeah, we are going mm -hmm. for the Crystal Wing. They're going to go for the Dragoon, I'd imagine. Or they could just wait. I mean, Crystal Wing won't destroy it. Uh, they are going to go for it. And looks like, yeah, holding the... It was correct there. I think they're chaining the formula synchron here. Nope, they're just they're just taking a quadrillion. Aw, uh, dang, they're missing out on that sweet um what is it, shooting star dragon play? Yeah. Ooh. God, I remember when Aurorodon was first released and everyone was like thinking through these crazy synchro plays, and then they just ended on Herald Pass. They were like, you can make satellite warrior turn one. Alright, cool. Anyway, um one negate, please. <laughs> yeah, this is a this is an interesting setup. You know, War Rock is a deck known for its aggro capabilities. Uh, that's why its best play is a set one, set two, set three. Oh, good, it's double or nothing set. Oh, awesome! This is this is outstanding. We're seeing all the best parts of War Rocks, all the things you splash into War Rocks. Yeah, exactly. This is so. Oh, oh my God! Can we is this hit the a fucking Adamantinator? Tat Tatsum has the luck that I have when I play Adamancipator. That was that was really frustrating. The cards are just shy. You can't blame them. Yeah, exactly. I don't know where they all are. I there's there's at least two guardians, at least two suppliers left. I'd imagine there's a Doki Doki in there somewhere. Oh wow, we are really desperate. Okay, well that's where the supplier is. Leonite hits the field and supplier triggers in hand. They are gonna let that resolve. We'll go for the supplier activation here as well, I'd imagine. Maybe you don't even. Maybe you go, I'm not taking rocks out of the deck. Cause like we've seen what, like ten hand traps at this point? <laughs> like what's even the point of activating the <laughs> the excavate? Alright, so Leonite can get any out emancipator, so if we pull a signs, we can make it work that way. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, there, there it is. Oh my god. I oh, okay. Oh god. That that was uh that was an anus clencher for sure. The Nibiru <laughs> back to the hand. Oh god. Okay. We we can at minimum fire off the signs, get back an Ad Emancipator, and maybe guarantee one activation. We've got a seeker, we've got a Raptite. I mean maybe. Ugh. Okay, I imagine this is where you drag it. But in true War Rock style. Oh, they're thinking dot, about dot, it. Dot, dot, dot. They're okay. thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> they're inventing fire over there. Oh, and pitching interrupted Ooh. kaiju slumber. That's kind of cute. Absolutely delicious. So what do you make with these two monsters? A four and a six. There's no tuner. You make an, a new home for your family, a new life for yourself. <laughs> The white picket fence, the eight-inch screen TV. Right. This is not my beautiful house. This is not my beautiful Leonite. <laughs> oh, jeez. My my I, question here is, what's the punish like? So now that they've drawn out the dragoon, the dragoon. Oh, what does what does Bean Soldier do now? <laughs> they just sit there. <laughs> is this that the out? Oh man, is this a share if you play Gravekeeper's moment? Just like dragoon or bust. Wait, did you resolve the rap tight? Uh, uh, did they pitch the ash blossom for something? Did I read that wrong? Did are they really still sitting on an ash? They're holding for so. Well, they're holding Wait. for next game. Uh, All right. and Tats of admits defeat. Okay, I got a side with the War Rock player. I think it's going to be an easy 2-0 for them. Uh, deck just looks too powerful. You know, it just did too much that game. You you can't keep up with the the raw advantage of Gactos. No, no, yeah. Whenever you have a bunch of rock monsters in your deck, and the opponents playing War Rocks, they're not going to side against their own people. Oh, it is. It is the Rock v Rock Ethno State here. You're right. This is <laughs> Rock on Rock violence. <laughs> Wow. So Atatsim, uh, done siding very quickly there, says, no, I already have a War Rock plan. I've, I've got it all labbed out. Uh, I'm going to board into Mega Rock Dragon. Broken. All right, so um, it looks like Tatsim has elected to go second. That that makes sense. 
You know, I'm like, what, you're going to make Dragoon pass? Do it, I dare you. I mean, that, that'd be pretty good. I mean, what else? My can question you is, do? what's the War Rock side? Yeah, like, what no were they prepared idea. for? We have this interesting metagame going on where we've like cut out everything that everyone's prepared for, and you can't use your best stuff going first. So I want to know what they actually have ready to fight decks like this. Uh, yeah, that's a toughie. That's a toughie for sure. Uh, going for War Rock Mountain here, we get to see this card. It's just insane. You can't push a field spell harder than this one. When it's activated, you get a War Rock, and then at the start of the battle phase, if you control no monsters or only warriors, you can special summon a War Rock monster with a different name than all the cards you control. And then if a War Monster would be destroyed by battle, you send it to the graveyard instead. Uh, I just read it all, um, but none of those are going to come into play. We're just firing fusion. Do we have the Ash Blossom? Ash, 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 Ash. Wow, is, is Tatsum's entire... <laughs> <laughs> is Tatsum's entire uh, Mokuba League run going to be stopped by Red Eyes Fusion, follow-up Red Eyes Fusion? They'll never live this down. Yes! It's the best play! <laughs> he did it again! Oh, God. The dreaded Morse code set with Dragoon. Oh, my word. All right, Pot of Desire is leading off here. You probably don't negate this, do you? You've got better stuff to do. Now, this is meant to banish all the hand traps that you kept uh, milling off the top in game one. Yeah, it's old Pot of Desire theory. Uh, you play it, you don't play it for the draws. Those are irrelevant. You play yeah. it to make it so you draw your other cards a lot quicker. Yeah, I I, I mean, this is Yu-Gi-Oh. You can go plus 10 off a of Doki Doki, right? Um, more Absolutely. important is thinning your deck from the garbage. And that was a Doki Doki discarding a Seeker, which may not have targets remaining in the deck. No, we do have the Seekers in here. <laughs> I guess let, let's let's see the damage. I think we can see if we hover. Supplier, Signs, Dinotherium, Ash, Researcher, Pot of Desires, Guardian, Doki Doki, Reborn, Pot. So it's actually like six, uh, six rock monsters. Oh. We're never going to see the effects resolve, are we? It's, it's just not going to happen. Yeah, and a little patience there. Uh, went for the Doki Doki, was negated by the Dragoon, and then we're going to go Analyzer plus Researcher. Let's fire off some effects. I guess that was always uh, kind of in the background, right? Like, whew. no matter what they did at that point, they are going to get Analyzer. Okay, we hit one. Thank God. Oof. That was also the only one. <laughs> Do we have another target? Oh, we don't. All right, we'll go for the Researcher here. And another Supplier. No. Let's go. Good Holy gravy. shit, this deck is broken. I do want to point out, they've also got one both times. It's not like they're, like, revealing two or three and they pick one. They've gotten exactly one. <laughs> oh, it's some season it. finale, edge of our seats action that you only get when War Rock fights Ad Emancipator. Oh, yeah. God, Ad Emancipator is one of those decks that it, it's so close to being, like, metagame relevant. But, you know, there's there's these things called hand traps, and they, they really screw uh, up its ability to do anything whatsoever. Absolutely. It's absolutely horrifying. When are we going to ban Lancia? I did like the Lightning Storm board only to be forced to go first. Very funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here comes the Raptite, uh, and then we will fire off the top. Anything does it. Okay, thank God. Oh, wow. Now now we're seeing everything. We'll get there, Seeker. Come on. Pot of Desires once again shows its usefulness. Yeah. All the parallel exceeds stayed in deck, by the way. Wow. That's the mark of a true duelist. It's not about having your heart of the card put the best card on top of your deck, but your worst 10. Uh, do you think they are they are holding a Nibiru, and that's why they set the Forsha? What? Wait, does Forsha trigger on... Any being sent to grave effect or just being destroyed? Oh, no, you only tribute the face-up monsters. Oh, wow. We um, shall see. <laughs> egg, egg, would, would run they... egg! <laughs> oh, my God. We're hurt now Okay, here. well, if they have Nibiru, then they have to use it now. Like, what else would they be waiting for? Yeah. Like, they've used the um the level four. They've used every they name. Up... 
every rock in their deck has been excavated. And yeah, now it's too late. Uh, out, yeah. Out comes Crystal Wing. No. Will we get Boral? No. no. Not yet. Mm. Oh, okay. All oh. Right. Okay. I could get with it. So uh, off the Halka Fibrax, we get the remaining Researcher. We also get a uh, Parallel of Exceed. Uh, from here, we can go into, what, Gallant Granite? I don't even know what an Ad Emancipator combo looks like these days. Um, You've got three level fours, so if they're taking in that Terror Bite, um, yeah. they can start stealing stuff. <laughs> go for the Shockmaster. Oh, damn, you just saw a progression, Ooh. too? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, a large thonk here. They're not even looking through their extra deck, it looks like. They're just, like, breathing. So, like, it's just the cards in the hand are what's deciding it. They're doing tantric exercises to improve their concentration. They have to bring their blood pressure down from almost losing to... D Dragoon two games in a row. <laughs> Dragoon is the mind killer. <laughs> Dragoon is the little death that comes in the sideboard. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, we're just making an access code. We're gonna eat the whole board, uh, and then I don't know, attack over the Dragoon. That sucks, but also does win the game. Yeah. Uh, Mountain I mean, first, what's the follow-up? You've got like a... Oh no, does that trigger... Will that trigger? Um, Stem from the monster zone to the grave. Okay, so, but like, what does that do? You get another war rock with exactly that effect. Well, apparently they're not <laughs> activating it. I don't, I don't know if it doesn't trigger here because of something we're missing. Maybe access codes non-response thing blocks it, or they just decided they didn't want to do it. Mm. That's fine. Seeing I would, I would be embarrassed here. I guess. I would be embarrassed to summon another war rock for sure. <laughs> uh, what are we getting off this gallon granite? We've already summoned everything. All right. Oh, we're just attacking. Interesting sequencing, but I'll take it. Oh, silly. It's lethal anyway because of the crystal wing synchro dragon. Oh, yeah. Damn. This card has an effect. <laughs> Wait, you mean it's not just Zulkin bait? What the heck? I've been, it's been so long since I had to read Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. I think DDDs in like 2016 was the last time. Ugh. I remember um being like I, I remember fuming when Borload Dragon came out because I was like, it beats Crystal Wing. Oh my god, you can't respond to its attack decrease, and it doesn't have a level, so Crystal Wing doesn't get the gain. This is the most broken card ever. Nothing will top this. And I was right. <laughs> Nothing's ever been stronger. Yeah. Borlo Dragon. Still the uh the king. Mm -mm. God, what was it? I might be having bad format remembering gills, but was it Einov when people were splashing like Zulkin in certain decks and they were yes. just making crystal wings? Hell like, yes. Oh, God. It was, you would play it in, like, Metal Foes. There were 15 different Metal Foes archetypes that all yeah. made Zulkin. Hell yes. Gofu was legal? Oh! It was the wor it was one of the worst regionals I've ever had. Just sitting across from, like, what, Crystal Wing and then um, Rare Metal f or Heavy Metal Foes? Yeah. Normal Summon? Oh, that's a cool. Anyway, uh, I have a Relinquish now. Oh, man. Alkahest. I... I will say um, that that is one of my all-time favorite formats, but I'm not going to pretend that, like, Zulkin Foes was fun, interesting, or, you know, had any sort of interaction with anyone. They would just barf their hand and say, can you out Relinquished plus uh, Crystal Wing? Would you like to try some removal on my, um, what is it, the, the fusion that bounces? Yeah, Mithrilium! Yeah, Mithrilium, and then you just go, oh, man, that sucks. Anyway, chain uh, Metal Foes Fusion. <laughs> All right, looks like the Warrock player is going to get to go first. And are we not seeing Dragoon? Boo. What the hell? I'm on. Oh, bad player. No, no, it's it's the Ash Bait. It's the Ash Bait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, come on, Bean. Don't do this to me. 
I was secretly rooting for you the whole time. Ah, uh, it wasn't the ash nope. bait. Okay. All right. All right. Forsha comes down. Uh, we can summon Gaktos as well. What? We want to go into Baguska Pass. This is the Warrock dilemma is that their first turn play is like this fucking shit. <laughs> you just normal Forsha Pass and be like, out this, idiot. I remember when Silent Honor Arc was the big play of the format. Oh, shit. And I'll it never can't change. be destroyed. Oh. It was summon in defense position or else get punished before infinity happened. And they never moved past that. All right, we did get to set two cards. You know, that that could be something. Maybe there's a, oh, no. there can be only one. Uh, maybe there is a Yujo friendship. All right, what did we banish? I think the big play is the, uh, the Eradicator Epidemic Virus is one of them and the Metaverse Searching Layer of Darkness is the other. So... Uh, it was Feather Duster Reboot, so those are out. We are going for uh, Ad Emancipator Analyzer. And Pancratops. Okay, that is dog shit for them. Uh, oh, boy. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes, the War Rock's natural enemy. Dinosaurs. That's actually why they went extinct. The War Rocks. <laughs> uh, the dinosaurs continued to live. Can you imagine? They're huge. <laughs> I like, though, Dino Wrestler Pankertops has, like, extremely human muscles. <laughs> like, it's like... A... I have... I have no care for your uh, realistic biology. I am muscle man. Yeah, it's like, you know, what are the Stegosauruses known for? It's like their rippling pecs, their big abs, uh, their glutes, their feet... Uh, and their synergy with Koakai Mairu Guardian. And don't you dare call them an herbivore because they need those protein shakes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pankratops, you know, it's it's been a rough life. He has to drink eight gallons of Soylent a day to get the recommended protein intake. Mm. Right, we're Main learning that brain force. Yes! Give me my pills! <laughs> <laughs> Another classic analyzer. This one actually revealed both supplier wow. and guardian. Wow. And gone are the uh, mills from game one. We have cast aside the yoke of revealing five shade brigandine. <laughs> You're taking supplier here, right? No, taking guardian. Says now I can negate two spell traps. Ooh. Are you now I'm insulated against your nippy Oh not insulated against that. That uh that oh. that sucks. Holy shit. <laughs> it was summon limit? What oh Wait. no. There was no good way to do it. Oh yeah, because if you flip the summon limit, then Pank just hits it. That's fair. Yeah. Oh, and we have the oh. signs. We don't have a good target. Oh, and all the war rocks all they say opponents effects, right? They do, when yes. When it comes to being destroyed. Ah, uh... Okay, so uh, Guardian's back. We we need another Analyzer, but then we could do it. Putting a Researcher on top of the deck. Oh, shoot. Hmm. Are we just <laughs> attacking? <laughs> <laughs> 1900 Reveal Iron Core Pass. Yep, oh, I'm, let's I'm go! No rock. <laughs> it's the beats! Who I hope there's the no rock, rock in hand. now. Please. Oh, good. Okay, ah, Doki Doki. Okay. All that right. would have been very funny. All right, any war rock does it. That also does it. Mm hmm. So we play over it. Um. So we can get uh the twenty one hundred cyber dragon type monster, yeah. or we can get Basilios. Either is really good. Oh, or neither. Or the game is effectively over. All right, that, that set card had better be another Torrential. Oh, it sucks. You can't even do it the way you want. Oh, that's oh, a good one. 
So that's going to be chained to the activation in hand. Got it. And I guess all we have to do here is find an out to Koakai Mairu Guardian. Nope, even worse. Uh, what, what was that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, it could be anything. Uh... <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so Sorry, these sleeves are new. They're still really slippery. We we know the uh, we know the hand. It is researcher and Doki Doki. At Jesus Christ, please, Gactos the set. Yeah. Oh, but it it does stop it. This is a uh, this is a rough one. This is gameplay, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Well, um, I think we only had like what a few more minutes slotted for this, and now this is going to take an hour. Yeah, I was hoping to be done in ten. I I didn't think the War Rock match was going to take twenty five minutes. Thank you for the ad revenue, uh, Bean Soldier. It's uh, your sacrifice will not be in vain. Yeah, uh, everyone, remember to uh, subscribe to uh, Raid Shadow Legends. Uh, download Surfshark VPN. Uh, Top deck Monster Reborn like a fucking sack. We're going to bring back the Ash Blossom here and go in a Halk. That seems terrible, but also probably the only play. Oh! Oh, oh yeah, you can tank. He's a dinosaur! Yeah. <laughs> oh, easy. Oh, my God. And there we go. Uh, that should do it. Um, unless there is a Nibiru that can somehow get through a guard. Ooh, and we actually hit one. Down comes the Supplier. Wow, Warrock just really putting on a clinic and um, reminding us why we don't play Warrock, I guess. Yeah, uh, l learn learn from these mistakes, folks. Uh, yeah. When going to a tournament, uh, make sure that you look at Warrocks for a very long time so you can internalize their failure. You know, it, it does take a certain... It, it, it is pretty skill testing, right? Like, you do have to read the cards and then recognize that they suck and then abstain from playing them. Like, those are three choke points. <laughs> oh, geez, and a whiff off the Seeker, but uh, probably a little too late to matter here. Uh, we're in a weird position where the guard is the only non-tuner on the field, so we might have to send it off to the grave for, like, uh, a Raptite, and then there's a super sick Nibiru. Mm-hmm. All right, looks like we're just going to go for a uh, Hauka Fibrax here. Fine. Pardon? Fine. Fine. I have no qualms. Oh, was it just... Yeah, we're just doing this again. You know, it okay, sounds yeah, like okay. a really cool and cute combo deck until you're like, oh, we're just, we're just doing this again. Oh, yeah, and there we go. There's the 53 access code uh, to reach for that data storm for game. Yep. You know, uh, I really like combo decks like Adam Emancipator. They have cool, interesting lines, and I really hate that a lot of them have been invalidated by access code talker, but you gotta admit, it's a good-ass card, and Bean Soldier admits defeat. Tatsim will be advancing to the top eight stage. Uh, Just a big round of applause for everyone involved. Yeah, a uh, really hard-fought victory. It, it went to game three. Uh, congrats to Bean Soldier TV. Do check them out. Uh, they'll hopefully be on a little later for a commentary. But I, I, as someone who spent their first YouTuber Grand Championship bringing the absolute shittest deck I could think of, I, I do have to appreciate their devotion to the bit. Um, and War Rock is, is an exceptionally funny deck to bring. Yeah, like um, you know, all the all the shit we were giving them for playing it. Um, it it is here to just show all of us off, and uh, there's not a there's not a better way to get attention than bringing the absolute worst deck imaginable. <laughs> oh, jeez, that was that was painful. Uh, but I did have fun. Uh, thank you for jumping on commentary, everyone. Please check out Golden Nova Yu Gi Oh and cheer them on in their games, which we will be watching in a future episode. And uh, do you have anything to say before we get into the next one? Uh, no, uh, thank you for having me on. Uh, it's a really great opportunity, and I appreciate you um, allowing me to come on and join in on this one. Uh, all of my followers, please be sure to follow MBT. Uh, they are at a critical lack of consonants and vowels, and they need a real screen name, so it'll really help them out. 
Uh, thank you. I, I appreciate that. I was I was only allotted three letters at birth, and uh, I've been fighting to get the remainder ever since. Thank you.